a shopping spree, buying art for my new museum. Your search is over. I am Bikini Bottom's greatest artiste. I call this one Squidward and Repose. I uh, don't think that will fit in with the other pieces in my collection. Why not? Because it's an art collection! Ah! How about this one? I call it Bold and Brash. More like belongs in the trash! Ah! Sorry, I must have missed that one. Today's the day. I'm finally making Jenny my valentine. I didn't even know you liked Jenny. Yeah, well, my feelings for Jenny have been in stealth mode since kindergarten. Wasn't sure I could commit to one girl. But now that I've grown up, I've decided Jenny is the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Wow, all right, that, that's a lot to express. Yeah, well, that's why I need a grand gesture to get her attention. Artur. I'm gonna ignore his presence for now. PS 38's handsome outsider that everyone thinks is so interesting, even though he isn't. Now I know, I'm the friend. <laughs> All right, now I gotta figure out what my grand gesture is gonna be. Okay, let's see it. Make sure you wear sunglasses or you may be blinded by my genius. Yeah, yeah, just show me. Voila. What's that supposed to be? This is a masterpiece. I don't have a mouth in my stomach. It represents the gaping, gnashing maw of consumerism and the endless cavern it creates within us all. I call it oppression. Whatever that means. But is it safe for kids to play on? This is art, not a swing set. Well, we should do a dry run before we let the general public use it. Sometimes, the choice is simple. Your social studies teacher has turned into a kaiju monster. You must slay her before danger comes to the princess, who in this case is your principal. Oh, hi. Which actually looks pretty good on him. So that's where the vegetarian surprise went, uh huh? Oh. And up here, you'll find my true masterworks, hidden away from the eyes of the undeserving public. Ah, oh, the naive cephalopod style. Not very sophisticated. Huh? You ready, bro? No idea! Slow down or you'll get whiplash. Could sell it for a lot of cash. My kiss will give you lip rash. Your smooching party will crash. Ain't got no time for math class. I think I found some beef hash. Hey, Teddy's got a Spanish rap. Twenty years of painstaking care, and my bonsai portrait is almost complete. Oh, oh my, what's this? I missed a spot. Not to worry, you'll be perfect soon. As perfect as me. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Don't look what I've done. Oh, no. <laughs> Squidward. What, what, who said that? It's me, your bonsai, Squidward. Will you grant me my final request? Of, of course. What, what, what is it? Avenge me. Avenge me. Ah! 
All 492 of my self-portraits. And they're better than mine. <laughs> he even got the rug right. Get a hold of yourself, Squiddy Old Bean. This doesn't mean anything. This, this, all of this is just, just mimicry. He doesn't possess your style, or your decorating acumen, or your love of the finer things. In fact, the only thing he has is, is, is my vacuum cleaner. And I'll remedy that. How am I gonna get out of tomorrow's chemistry test? How? Wait, what if something happened? Something so crazy that there was no way that the test could take place tomorrow, or ever. Like, suddenly, the school is magically teleported to the moon, and no one can hear you study in space. Or a giant kaiju monster battle of two gargantuas breaks out right on top of the school. Or check this out. It turns out that the school is actually a giant spider, and it decides to take off and make a new home in the Himalayas. I mean, hey, the school is living its true, authentic self. It's pretty sweet. Okay, yeah, these are great, but how the heck can I make them happen? You know, Nate, you could just study. Zip it, Gina. Studying is not the answer. It's too late for that. <laughs> Nate, you are correct. It is definitely far too late. <laughs> your tentacles, your nose, your eyes a little lopsided. There. Uh, and now that I've been immortalized in wax, I have conquered all artistic media. Come on, my precious reflection smile. Oh. oh, hey guys, just tuning in? Let me catch you up with a flashback. My Graham and Gramps, known to other grown-ups and local authorities as Vern and Marge, showed up out of the blue without any presents in a dumpy fishing boat they traded their house and my dad's inheritance for. Not cool. Until they showed us a map and invited us on a treasure hunt. Dangerous? <laughs> yeah, probably, but we laughed. Okay, most of us laugh at danger. We had a few minor and, and I, I mean, super minor setbacks. Little did I know, my best friends were hot on our tail, and that's when things got nuts. My dad fell in love with a trash mermaid, which is totally on brand for him. We fought fish mutants. We were swallowed by and then blown out of a whale's blowhole. Grants lost his finger, we lost the boats, I lost my friends, yada, yada, yada. You've heard stuff like this before. Here we are. Okay, fam, time to put our yesterdays behind us and get our filthy hands on some pirate's booty. Hi, how are you? I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but please come in, SpongeBob. Thank you. Tell me, what are you doing cooped up in here when the weather outside is so normal? Well, today is dusting day, the day I dust my 483 self-portraits. Wow, 
That's something you don't see in the average house. You know, SpongeBob, it's okay to be a little different. And you know what else is abnormal? Your nose. It's all bulbous and flappy. Your eyes are a little odd, too. Looks like your whole face could use some work. There we go. See? Looking normal already. One more thing, Squidward. You don't wear pants. And stay out of my home! She's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Nate Wright has been preparing for this moment his entire life. Raised since birth to survive the cold. Nate grew to thrive in freezing temperatures. Training himself each and every day to be impervious to cold. Ah, training paid off. No brain freeze. Hey, how you guys doing? Great. So, what do we buy next?